Hello everyone, so I'm very happy to finally introduce you to our new uh, like new add-on, new extension for Photoshop which which will help you to practice in your sketching. It, it names uh, like a sketch guru extraordinary here and it likes uh, it, it's doing like the, some of simple tasks that uh, we like just were doing. It will automatically create like slides of from your reference packs it will make uh it will make like simply mm -hmm. uh it will uh, make slides for uh, sketching like gesture drawing stuff uh it will set automatically uh seconds or minutes timing on your on each uh like image uh for 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 you to just practice more gesture drawings more sketches more stuff you need or even if you have something new idea uh, you can use it as you wish uh, like it has uh, it can do for first it can select a folder where you have placed your <coughs> uh, where you placed your images for now our images our references will be these three packs that uh, is from my store they are from my store I have several of uh, like uh, reference packs Yuma reference packs in my store which you can check it in by going uh, from the, the link down below. So here is our path. We just need to select this folder so the extension know where he will uh, have to took this reference photos for us. So at first, let's start with custom. So in custom area, you have to set uh, the numbers of drawing. Uh, it means the numbers of uh, the, uh, the images that uh, is in your uh, path folder. So it, for, for now it will be three. And timing, for me it will be three seconds for each image I want. Uh, so it will automatically to show you uh, the total session time, uh, how much it will be. So uh, you can set auto uh, sizing. So the canvas size will be automatically like uh, this size, if you want custom one, you just hitting this button here and set your custom sizes in pixels. Uh, resizing will be like if you have already opened artboard, it will fit, fill, stretch, or automated one, your reference image. For now, we will leave this. So if, for example, we don't have it and nothing open, we just call uh, calling the action. Let's draw. And as you can see, it's create the new document for, uh, for us. And you can simply just go to the artboard tool, create the artboard size as you wish. For example, if I need like something like this for me, like uh, right uh, in front of our reference pack, so I can simply just go and easily start drawing from out my reference. So. Uh, as you remember, I set it the numbers and the seconds, but as you can see, the slide is not working because we didn't hit this timeline start button here. So when we done this, you can see images will be flip, will be flipped one by one. But while this extension is it is loaded, so nine seconds for each. If you want, you can turn on your slide slides and it will automatically start switching between them in total session time it will be like nine seconds you also can like clearly you can set this in this section set it custom so it will mean that you want these slides go once three times or forever or custom number of time you can switch between them using these arrows. You can make one of them black and white. I play with them some settings here. You can delete it, flip horizontally, ver vertically. You can also uh, delete if you like lighting between your images and you finding one image that you do, uh, don't like. And you don't want this slide to be shown in next like slideshow, or you don't want to uh, this uh, slide to be shown uh, while you are scrolling between all images because your images can be like a uh, hundred times more than mine. So you just simply hitting this delete button, and in next 
back uh, time, uh, you will not see this image, which uh, we deleted. So the extension will just simply ignore it. You can just exit, exit uh, hitting this button and everything will be gone. And everything will gone. Uh, so uh, that's it. One minor thing, uh, or, or not minor, uh, is that when we selecting our images, we opening a document, uh, how you can like draw and use it as reference. From in my case, I just creating new artboard or two artboards or three as much as I want and where I want and in which size I want and just simply um, <clears throat> I'm starting to draw and use this section as my reference. So if you, uh, as you noticed, I'm using it manually here. Well, you just need to switch between your references during using these arrows and flip them or doing any, any of these actions by yourself. Also, we have here like some fixed time for all images. So when you are hitting like ex exit and hitting let's draw on setting it on 10 minutes. Uh, and we know that we have like three images inside our folder. It will automatically create for you like timeline and it will be uh, shown like this. So it will, it will show that each image will be uh, set it on 200 seconds for each. So 10 minutes will be uh, of total session for all images. So 200 sec seconds for each one. Uh, okay, so fixed times is 13, 45, 1, 2, 5, 10 minutes. Uh, the last one is um, this document size section uh, is that uh, you can like switch and uh, set your custom size and it will like the reference will be uploaded inside the canvas you have uh, set it earlier or if you already have yeah, like your artboard uh, it can fit your artboard stretch uh, using your artboard size or none of this and it will be done as automatically and for the final so as you can see as i told before the worst part of this plugin was that uh, we can't use timeline so automated timeline process so uh, because well while plugin or anything else working uh, in uh, photoshop Photoshop settings, Photoshop development, their, their code inside do not allow us to like create, uh, to use like other tools. So that's why you can't draw a while timer is working automatically. That's why you need to slide between your reference images using manual air, uh, arrows. But we leave these settings inside the plugin because there is many uh, people that can use it um, or as uh, like standalone software. To, they do not want to uh, draw inside of Photoshop. Maybe they are using paper or iPad and stuff. So that's it. Uh, you can see here my website link. By the clicking on it, you can like simply go to my store and there you will find some maybe some interesting stuff for you you can like purchase some of my reference packs and use it as well so that's it i hope you enjoyed i hope it will be helpful for you maybe you will find some other stuff uh, some other ways to uh, let this plugin help be like useful for you feel free to comment down below some stuff that you're thinking that it can be uh, important and see you in the next video